Let's do it. First thing is to fit everything up as tight as possible with no gaps, corner to corner. To get a small tack, it really helps to start off with a tapered tip electrode. I like to use a small filler wire for the tack welds, but a tapered tip like this will help you get a crisper start. And it helps pinpoint the heat so you can make a small tack weld. Just a small tack every few inches, and when I've got it all put together, I'll come back and put more tacks if needed. Again, trying to get a really good corner to corner fit up, no gaps, no overlap, no mismatch. I put an extra joint at the top so that it would have a visible weld in the hopes that I'll draw some eyeballs. I set the machine to 100 amps. At times I'll need all of it, at times I won't, and 200 hertz on the AC frequency. Since this is a TIG finger display, of course I'm going to use a TIG finger to help me weld it out. Aluminum can get really hot really quick. This will let me prop right next to the weld anywhere I want to. It's also much smoother than a TIG glove and helps me glide along nice and smoothly. And I don't have to get in any hurry getting my hand off of there. For a long run, you'd like to be able to weld a whole rod without stopping. In this case, the whole joint without stopping so that you don't have any restarts so that it looks better. A restart is not a big deal. It's just that you can usually tell it on aluminum with the difference in cleaning action or whatever. And it's just better if you can go a whole run without stopping. The tick finger lets me glide along here for this whole 12 inch run without ever stopping. For this weld, I've got that TIG finger on my pinky finger, and it's just gliding along smooth as silk. My finger's not screaming at me either, want me to finish this weld. I can take my time and concentrate on the weld instead of how bad my finger is scorching. If you weld much aluminum, you know how hot it gets and how hot your finger would be propping with a bare TIG glove like this for a full minute and a half. With a TIG finger on, it's no problem. All right, let's do another long run and we'll jump in midstream here to speed things up just a little bit. But this arc shot was just too good to leave out. I'm picking up my speed just a little bit here and I think I'm just getting a little bit more comfortable. That's generally the way things go with me. I don't try to go fast right out of the gate if I'm rusty on something. Just go nice and slow and the speed will come as I get more comfortable with it. This is a number seven clear cup. And not everybody needs a clear cup. I use them a lot for filming, but something I learned early on in using clear cups is they actually help me to see the puddle better. I'm in my 60s, I wear glasses, I need all the help I can get. This is a good size for aluminum, but you can see it lights up the path. It just helps you see where you're going a little bit better. Tying into the corner here, I wanna taper my amperage, swirl the arc around so I don't leave any crater hole. I got one more joint to do, and this is kind of like a butt joint, and really the only reason for this is to be an eye catcher. When I say that, what I'm thinking is that every welder everywhere, me included, we have to inspect every weld we see everywhere. So I think that this highly visible weld might just get a welder's attention and help him look a little bit closer and check out my TIG fingers. You can buy a ready-made cardboard display, something like this, but I just thought this might be unique enough that a welding supply store might want to put it on their counter or an end display. So after drilling a couple holes in it and putting some pegboard hooks, this is the finished prototype. It'll hold a regular TIG finger and TIG finger XL up top and then an extra quantity in the bottom. But it's just a prototype. Might make some changes. I took this prototype to my local welding supply, Holston Gases. They were extremely helpful. They gave me some good feedback. And so the feedback was make it a little smaller because it might go on an end rack. It might go on the counter. It needs to be just a little smaller. So I'll probably make it out of uh, tread plate this time around. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in a TIG Finger or TIG Finger XL, you can get them at weldmonger.com. We've also got a lot of TIG kits, TIG gloves, and lots of other quality welding gear. Thanks for watching.